Hey everybody, it's Shelby here at Shuffles Tap and Musical Theater School at Studio Maestro. And today I'm going to teach you the third step of the Shim Sham, the Tack Annie. Um, I have already done videos on the first and second step of the Shim Sham and of the Shim Sham break. And um, whether you want to learn the whole Shim Sham or not, you do need to go and watch the Shim Sham break video because we use that break in this third step of the shim shim. So check that out, get comfortable with that, and come back here so we can get started on the Tack Annie, the third step of the shim shim. So let's get started. So the Tack Annie of the shim shim starts with a stamp on the left and a stomp on the right. But I did teach that as part of the second step, the crossover step as well, because I think it's really good to get that transition coming out of step two and going into step three. Um, our left foot happens to be free, which is why this is sort of a cheat where we do one stamp and one stomp so that our right foot is ready to go. Now, the basic thing we have to do in the tap hand is do a brush and a touch from a stamp. That's the trickiest part. So from here, in order to get a brush sound going in, you have to sort of lift your toe off the ground so that you're able to get that brush sound quickly and go brush, touch. Touch does not shift weight, so I'm still standing on my left foot. Then with that same right foot, I'm gonna stamp back out. So those three sounds together go brush, touch, stamp. Now I've gotta lift that other he had the other toe off the ground to brush, touch, stamp out all three of those sounds on the left. Together we have brush, touch, stamp out, and lift, brush, touch, stamp out. One more time, brush, touch, stamp out. So it happens three times, right foot, left foot, right foot. Then at the end of each round, we actually do put our weight on our foot for the first time. We go brush, behind us, shift our weight, stamp, stamp. Now our stamp stamps are right, left, and we do shift weight on both because we're no longer cheating from the left foot. So that last part goes, brush, step behind, right, left. All together, one round of this step would go, brush, again to start the holding again on that same right foot. We don't switch feet from one time to the next. Brush, touch, stamp, two, three, step behind, out. That was our second time through. Exactly identical to our first time through. The third time through is the same as well except the very end. So we still go brush, touch, stamp, brush, touch, stamp, brush, touch, stamp, Brush step, but instead of finishing up eight with our right foot and our left foot stamping, we just do the count eight on the right foot stamping. So it sounds like this. Up, one, two, up, three, four, up, five, six, up, seven, eight. Do you see how there's that little extra pause? A seven, eight versus a seven, a eight. So be ready to balance for an extra little second before you put that right foot down. Putting that right foot down on eight is the beginning of our shim sham break. So it would go eight, one, two, hop up, hop up, out. That's the entire tap family. So now we need to put it together. We have two times through our step, exactly the same ending, hop up. The third time through we end eight, and then we go into our shim sham break. Five, six, seven, up, up.
So that was the Tack Annie of the Shim Sham. I hope you found this video helpful. I will definitely go ahead and finish off the Shim Sham because there's only one more step we need to learn to know the whole thing. Um, but after that, I'm happy to teach other pieces of rep. So if there's something you've been really wanting to learn, let me know and if I know it, I will go ahead and teach you in another video. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in our next one. Bye.